Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I'm just going to start off by being simple here, and yes, I know this is not StarCraft, it is kind of obvious by the fact that, well, it looks completely different. Those of you that have guessed right now, this is a World War II game called Company of Heroes, and probably one of my favorite games. A lot of fun, and it's definitely worth checking out, you can get the demo online, but let's get more into the game here. So, um, this game is a lot like StarCraft, it's a real-time strategy, but it's, it can get to bigger armies, uh, it's kind of confusing in that sense, but it's a good game, and let's just go on and check it out. So, I'm up here, I'm the Nazi up here, it, um, the deal of the game is it's Nazis versus allies, why do I have Fog of War on? But, uh, as you can see, I am a Nazi at the top corner. My teammate down here, fellow Nazi, middle, nether, nether, we're all here, and each base starts off with one, two, three, four, four bunkers to defend itself, and you try to capture victory points, which will put the enemy tickets down up here, and um, to get resources, you connect, uh, you get fuel, and things such as that fuel bases that come back to your base and you get these right down here these fuel uh, manpower and munitions so um, over here are the allies boo boo nobody likes allies but anyway gosh I'm lagging like a monkey but yes um so these are all the allies here while wow, this guy's getting a very fast weapon support center we are going to be seeing some fast uh uh, machine gunners from him but anyway so e every team starts out with one Engineer squad, pioneer squad, depending on the, the t depending on the team, but that pretty much just means it, they're the builders that capture bases fast. And you can, as you can see, my teammate gets the middle one fast, hiding behind these uh, these walls here to give him better cover. As you can see, there is a yellow shield saying that he is in medium cover. These guys are in a green shield, very good cover. And there we go, his Volks grenaders, which are his uh, riflemen, are coming into the battle swooping around here because he has way too good defenses so he's gonna swoop around get him out of his defenses run up and just take him out so uh, good there by my teammate and as you can see oh spasm but um instead of getting volts grenades I got a heavy machine gun team which hold mg 42s and you can set them up to uh, attack enemies and so there you go I'm grabbing my first fuel source but before one major thing is before this fuel even gets back to my base I have to capture this base so that there's a line from my base to the field. So this right now isn't giving me anything. And um, I'm taking this big one right here to help me. And I took this victory point up here. So the only victory point that my team hasn't taken is this southern one right here. As you can see, the enemy is putting up some bunkers and defenses to deal or to take that. So as you can see, the um, game's not going very fast. The enemy did get a uh, thing. This is one of the favorite things I like pioneers to do. So pioneers can make, or engineers and stuff, they can make uh, defensive structures, such as barbed wire, which stop infantry, or tank traps, which stop tanks from rolling over. So um, it's a very interesting game. It's a lot of thinking, and there you go. I have some Volts grenades, and I never took this. I don't know why. One of my teammates ended up taking it later. And uh, this is a very common strategy. You take these two buildings and right here, because a lot of times it gives you a watch and my teammate with his pioneer are building sandbags as well as a barbed wire strip to stop infantry there. So very smart of him. I'm still taking over up here. I told my teammates at the beginning if you guys were watching, I'm going to guard the northern front. The two middle guys are going to guard this and the southern guy is going to get this. But he didn't do a very good job of it. If you haven't noticed, he did defend this one base. But it's not good enough. There we go. He has a lot of engineers. Four squads of engineers. This is a tactic I don't quite like. It is possible to pull off. But not very easy. And um, so this game, right off the bat, I decided I want to get fast tanks. So before I build anything besides infantry, I'm going to tech up to tanks as fast as I can. So um, up here, I... Nothing's going on up here. But I'm taking this base right here, as well as... Just had some infantry take that, and as you can see, I have uh, one set up MG42 squad, and you can see their line of sight right now. They will be able to guard this point very easily. Volks Grenader squad here, and one here. And uh, down at the middle base, you can see 
Uh, my teammate is actually having very large defenses. And um, he's doing pretty well. He has a bunker back here. He has more sandbags. So he doesn't feel obliged to attack the enemy. He will let him attack him. And so down here, the um, allies are guarding this southern victory point very well. But, as you can see, or as you can see I keep saying that. I'm going to speed this up. It is getting a little boring just watching nothing. So there we go. The enemy is finally capturing this base. But he will not be able to get up here because of my... Or he won't be able to get through here. I'm building a bunker to help watch this base around here. And I'm um, taking over down here. As you, can, or as you can see, I get to stop, stop, stay. <laughs> but um, my teammate is screaming mortar. If I can see this, I would like to. Uh, mortar squad. I don't see it. But there is one there. So I'm moving up my MG42 to help guard this base. Two of my Volks grenaders going into. Look at this. Right here on this mini map. Behind enemy lines to the extreme here. Like, I'm like in a little niche in their space. So there we go, they're sitting there. Um, there's fuel down here. Fuel uh, is mainly for tanks. Main manpower is for infantry and munitions is for... Uh, oh, oh, gotta slow this down. So he started coming, but my MG42 pinned him. As you can see, they're pinned. And pinned soldiers cannot get up, or they can't do anything. They just hide on the ground. Um, you can tell them to retreat, which is... You saw that question, or exclamation point over his head right at the end. He did click it which makes your men run all the way back to the base um, at full speed. But the, as you can see, I'm gathering a pretty large army down here. And over here we have uh, some southern movement moving in, so it's going to be a problem. I am saying getting tanks. So, yes, I'm going up to battle phase, which gives you, uh, gives you the ability to make tanks. So, I think I have a pretty good army here, so I'm ready to attack. And down at this southern front, we have a mortar team going on here, but this sniper was able to take him out, but then got sniped by this sniper, who was camouflaged, so my teammate cannot see him. And, um, yes, I forgot to... Okay, so outposts... Let me slow this down. Outposts you can build on top of stuff like this, and it makes you get the resource three... Or, not three times, but another three resources each, um, I don't know how, what the periodical time is, and for an enemy to capture this, they have to destroy this first, so it's a lot of help, but it does cost 200 manpower, which is almost a squad of Volch Grenaders, so it's your choice, or half of a tank, if somebody wants to roll around with half of a tank, but, um, yes, yeah, so, uh, the southern front is getting taken over, putting, uh, the enemy is putting some, uh, uh, heavy machine gunners in there while taking this munitions point and so the southern point even though my my northern point that I defended is going very well the southern point is getting destroyed on um, this I'm not gonna lie the southern point is pretty hard to defend I had one game where I was ended up pushed back here and I had just mortar team back here two heavy machine gunners and I was I held off for like 20 minutes like that but, um, yeah, so I took over this point. So I'm doing fairly good. I'm etching into the enemy's base. There we go. So I'm starting to build my Panzer Command. My teammate is, has uh, his own Sturm Armory down. And this guy has a Craig Barracks, so he's going mass infantry. And this... What the... Where is his stuff? He has a Campcraft Center. Oh my, does he really only have a campcraft center? You've got to be, oh my, he does. He's not even getting infantry at this point. That is sad. I never noticed this during the game. I guess, I guess that's why he lost his southern front so much. But anyway, I guess he's just going mass. So look at this. I have 20 men running through. You can see the X shield, which means they're in absolutely no cover. And, um... So, we have a heavy machine gunner in this base right here and um, I, I came down here to help with this so I'm running through and then all of a sudden I realize oh my wait for it wait for it yes the heavy machine gun he, he is firing through the windows and he, pin, or he makes my guys down there they're suppressed pinned they're not allowed to move at all but they are suppressed so down and I, f I try to fire some RPGs but they hit this fence one finally gets over I'm surprised the fence didn't explode there but um, my my uh, Panzer Command is not 
completely done. And this guy still has. Oh wait, no, he did. He did have an infantry base. I lied. My bad. And uh, my teammate is like now building Panzer Command, which is what I just finished. And um, so if you look, the Allies sent some rogue squads of engineers here, and you see that little flame. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little flame there, which means that he upgraded them to carry flamethrowers, which are massively effective against, I don't know why I said that, but are very effective against infantry. And, um, so they're coming up into my base, and I'm like, no, th that's not happening. So I'm grabbing all my guys, I'm ready to go stop this forward advance of his, while I am, oh 